effective use of the airplane as a weapon of war, both defensively and offensively, is when it acts in teams as a single unit. Consequently, knowing how to fly formation is a must for all military pilots. The smallest unit in a formation of planes is the section which may consist of two or three planes. The section leader is primarily responsible for the conduct of the section and its safe navigation. The job of the wingman or wingman is to maintain proper wing position in relation to the leader. When flying a wing position, the leader's wings are your horizon. A fundamental rule of formation flying is to keep your wings parallel to your leaders at all times. You'll find you have a tendency at first when you're flying wing to fly with your inboard wing down. This causes your plane to move toward your leader. Attempting to correct this by adding outside rudder causes your plane to skid. Use aileron to keep your wings level with your leader's wings. All three-plane formation flying is parade formation, which is close and dressed up. The wing position is flown with 75 feet between corresponding parts of the wing plane and the leader, and on a 45-degree bearing from him. To establish this bearing, center your plane in the 90-degree angle formed by the trailing edge of the leader's wing and his fuselage. In this position, your inboard wingtip will be 10 feet laterally from your leader's wingtip and your nose will be 10 feet aft of his tail. You will also maintain a 10-foot step down which keeps you below the prop and wing wash of your leader. If you fly low enough so that you can just see the inboard wheel cover of the lead plane, you will be approximately 10 feet step down. In making turns, the inside wingman should drop down to maintain his 10-foot step down and roll on the leader's axis. The outside wingman rolls on his own axis. Since the inside wingman travels a shorter distance, he must retard throttle slightly to keep from overrunning the leader, while the outside wingman, traveling a greater distance, must advance throttle to keep up. You are the starboard wingman flying in parade formation in a V. To hold your position, Frequent small adjustments of stick, rudder, and throttle must be made to correct any relative motion. If the leader seems to be pulling ahead, you are actually dropping back and must use throttle to stop the relative motion. If he seems to rise, you are dropping down and must use your stick to pull back up. Lateral movement, of course, is corrected with rudder. When the leader starts a right turn, you retard throttle slightly, dropping down and rolling on his axis to maintain your 10-foot step down. During the turn, the opposite wingman will look like this. On turning to the left, you advance throttle to maintain your 10-foot aft position and roll on your own axis, keeping your 10-foot step down throughout. The opposite wingman will be in this position.
let's see how to form an echelon. This is the signal from the section leader to change from B to right echelon. This is the signal of execution. After the signal to form a right echelon has been given, and on the signal of execution, the left wing man drops down with slightly reduced power until he is 20 feet below the opposite wing man. He then moves back until he is 10 feet behind his tail. He then skids slowly across by applying right rudder and using his stick to keep his wings level. He adds throttle as necessary to maintain nose to tail distance. He stops his skid and eases up into position. The wings must be kept level and the movement slow. On receiving the return to B signal, the number three plane drops down 10 feet. Since he has already stepped down 10 feet from the plane ahead, crosses back smoothly using throttle as necessary to keep from dropping back. On reaching the opposite side, he again uses throttle to move forward to a 45 degree bearing from the leader, then pulls up to a 10 foot step down. After receiving the right echelon and execute signals, the left wingman drops down, then back until he is 20 feet below and 10 feet aft the opposite wingman. He crosses under slowly, maintaining his position by use of throttle. Then pulls up 10 feet into the right echelon position. After the return to B signal, the number three man drops down 10 feet Crosses back. Then moves forward to a 45 degree bearing from the leader. He then pulls up to a 10 foot step down. Left echelons and returns to B are performed in exactly the same way to the other side. Here is how the maneuver will look to you. You receive the right echelon and execute signal. The opposite wingman is kept in view as you drop down until you are 20 feet below, and then back to 10 feet behind him. Keep your wings level and cross under smoothly. echelon, advance your throttle and ease up into position. On the signal to return to B, you drop down 10 feet. Advance throttle to maintain nose to tail distance while crossing back. further throttle to move forward to a 45 degree bearing from the leader. Then pull up to a 10 foot step down. 